roof terrace at the Northern Ireland Children's Hospice in North Belfast, where there's a panoramic view of the city whose people helped to raise the money to build it. Around 250 children come here every year for end-of-life care, but like all charities, it depends on voluntary donations to stay up and running. Charities are finding that traditional methods of raising money aren't working as well as they once did. More and more, they're having to think outside the charity box. Sarah, tell me a little bit about the garden. Well, this is the memorial garden for the Children's Hospice, and the stones here that have been laid down represent all the children we've cared for in the service that have passed away. Um, each of them have their own name carved with their date of birth. It must be quite a challenge to find the money to keep uh, Children's Hospice going every year. It can be. Uh, we have to raise three million a year to keep the Northern Ireland Children's Hospice services available. And with a very small advertising and marketing budget, we have to use other resources such as social media to keep and put our messages out there. So how do you use social media? What we would do is we would create events um, on the likes of Facebook or with our Twitter page. And with that there, we invite people to join in. We build up a momentum and we encourage interaction and communication. How important is it for a charity like yours to have a presence on social media? The advantage of social media is that everything is only ever click away. So if we have an event or we have a key message that we've put out on either one of those mediums, the donation button is always right beside it. And that's one of the most strongest ways that we have of bringing in donations online. Omnisoft are experts in social media and know how increasingly important this type of web usage is to the competitive charity sector. Charities are going to depend more and more on social media to generate donations. Uh, the traditional methods of advertising are getting less effective and people are engaging with charities and presenting donations via social media networks. Uh, for business, charities are using LinkedIn to get business donations and general fundraising, charities are using Twitter. AGNI is another local charity making the most of social media. Over the last, uh, I suppose, 12 months, we've been developing our social media platforms and we've been using social media for recent campaigns. One was during the recent election in uh, May 2011, and that was to put forward our five priorities for ageing well in Northern Ireland. So it was a different audience, I suppose. There, there may be um, politicians there, there may be younger people. Age and I is quite a new brand, so it's also been good in spreading that, that there, there's more and more people hearing about us. Omnisoft believes that to stay ahead of the game, charities are going to have to be increasingly sophisticated in their use of social media. Charities are facing uh, a much more competitive environment than they had before and uh, they're going to find social media is absolutely essential if they're going to achieve the donations and the funds that they require for their operations. The generosity of ordinary people helped to make the last days of these children's lives as happy and as comfortable as possible. The spirit of giving will continue, but in the era of the internet, the way of reaching out to charity donors has changed forever.